Ever since we humans have existed, we have been asking ourselves the question of when our Earth will end. The ominous scenarios of the catastrophic end of the world run like a red thread through the different civilizations that once populated our blue home planet. With certainty, we all still remember the widespread forecasts of the Mayans. The ancient people who inhabited Central America hundreds of years ago once predicted that our Earth would finally be doomed in December 2012. As we know today, our home planet has survived that date without damage. Besides the occult prophecies from the field of ancient peoples, there are also many scientific studies that deal with the subject of the coming end of the world. Currently, some experts assume that by the year 2710, humanity will have wiped out the Earth to such an extent that the planet will no longer provide a basis for the survival of its inhabitants. Regardless of when the often pondered end of the world will finally occur, the survival of our species is in all probability literally in the stars. In the field of astronomy, the search for Earth-like planets that could serve as a new home for mankind in the distant future is therefore desperate. The recent discovery by NASA on this subject could change the future of mankind forever. We leave the Earth, the only home we know, to go to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. If you would like to join us on our journey, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. Even though the exact exploration of the planets of our solar system is generally still in its infancy, we can already say with certainty that Jupiter, Mars, and co are not really suitable to serve as a new refuge for mankind in the future due to their natural composition. The population of those celestial bodies would go hand in hand with the construction of highly technological space stations. However, the planets themselves, in terms of their composition, do not provide the conditions for a smooth move of our humanity to a new home world. In addition, many of the planets in our solar system do not even have a solid surface and are also affected by inhospitable temperatures and other weather phenomena that would make it even more difficult to establish a galactic colony. So, once our Earth is doomed, the survival of our species in our native solar system would be a very complicated undertaking. For this reason, international experts are concentrating their search for potentially habitable planets primarily on those celestial bodies that are located outside of our native solar system. In order to locate the fascinating objects on the star map, NASA uses a state-of-the-art space telescope that allows us humans to look into distant worlds. NASA's Kepler Telescope The space telescope just mentioned bears the name Kepler and was put into operation by NASA in 2009 before it finally ceased its service in October 2018. The goal of the Kepler telescope, which was placed in solar orbit as part of its mission, was to study those extrasolar celestial bodies in our universe that are located far away from our known solar system. An important characteristic of these so-called exoplanets is the fact that the celestial bodies in question, just like our Earth, is under the gravitational influence of a star or comparable celestial body. A special focus of the Kepler mission was to find relatively small, Earth-like planets that can be classified as potentially habitable in their natural state. The area examined by the Kepler telescope during its mission was located in the constellation of the Swan and comprised of a total of about 190,000 celestial bodies. Recently, a groundbreaking discovery was made with the help of data once collected by the telescope. The newly found exoplanet suddenly appeared on the star map as an object with a hitherto unknown similarity to our blue home planet. Some astronomers have recently taken on the task of re-examining the data collected by the Kepler telescope in the past. Using special software, the program looked at the blackouts within the light curve of a star, which can provide information about the existence of an Earth-like exoplanet. However, other astronomical phenomena can also be responsible for such darkening. For this reason, the software automatically sounded out a certain percentage of its recorded data, 
Although the corresponding values generally reflected the darkening phenomenon relevant to NASA, they could not be attributed, in essence, to the presence of an exoplanet. However, even the most sophisticated equipment of the famous space agency is prone to errors. A team of experts around researcher Andrew Vanderberg, who is in the service of the University of Texas, again dealt with the data that had originally already been sorted out by the NASA software. The astronomers came across a planet that was incorrectly classified by the software, which immediately aroused the interest of the research team. The discovery of the planet Kepler 1649c. This was the planet Kepler 1649c, which is located about 300 light years away from our Earth. Within its orbit, Kepler 1649c orbits a rather faint red dwarf. The so called red dwarfs are relatively small stars that are so faint that they cannot be seen with the naked eye from our home planet. In addition to Kepler 1649c, the team of experts was able to detect another celestial body that also moves around the red dwarf. For the team around Andrew Vanderberg, the discovery of Kepler 1649c was an astronomical sensation. The planet showed a striking similarity to Earth in terms of its composition and climate. In detail, the radius of Kepler 1649c is 1.06 times the radius of the Earth. This means that the exoplanet is almost as large as our home world. The solar radiation, which the extrasolar celestial body receives from its red dwarf, is about 75%. Because of this, the temperatures that prevail on the surface of Kepler 1649c are only minimally colder than on Earth. The climatic and spatial data with which Kepler 1649c comes up with make the exoplanet unquestionably the most Earth-like celestial body that has so far been discovered in the world of astronomy. Kepler 1649c thus joins a small group of just four known exoplanets with a radius of less than 1.25 Earth radii and a mass less than twice the Earth's mass. The discovery of Kepler 1649c gives experts hope that many more celestial bodies could cavort in the infinite expanses of space which are so similar to the Earth in their composition that they could be mistaken for it. Is life possible on Kepler 1649c? However, the question whether the planet Kepler 1649c really offers a life-friendly climate due to its natural conditions is still completely unsolved. The conditions for the existence of life on a planet are influenced by a number of other circumstances, which in the case of Kepler 1649c are still largely unexplored. In addition to the size and surface temperature of a planet, the nature of its atmosphere and the activity of its central star also play a decisive role. Scientists could find out that the exoplanet orbits its star in a rather narrow orbit. According to this, Kepler 1649c needs just 19.5 days for a complete orbit around its red dwarf. The Earth, in turn, is known to need a whole year for this undertaking. Although the distance between the exoplanet and its star is very small, Kepler 1649c is nevertheless in the habitable zone. The habitable zone, however, is the area of distance between a planet and its central star so that water can be present in liquid form as a prerequisite for life on Earth. Because the red dwarf of Kepler 1649c is comparatively cold and faint, these conditions arrive despite the small distance between the planet and its fixed star. Although Kepler 1649c is located in the habitable zone, there is still a great deal of controversy among experts as to whether the exoplanet could provide the basis for Earth-like life. This has mainly to do with the activity of red dwarfs in general. The corresponding small stars, which could be studied by scientists up to now, repeatedly showed strong radiation outbursts, which strongly influenced the climatic conditions on the planets in their direct vicinity. What the conditions on Kepler 1649c actually look like has yet to be determined by international teams of experts. Are there other planets like Kepler 1649c? The fact that the planet Kepler 1649c is not alone within its orbit immediately captivated astronomers. According to this, there is another celestial body in the immediate vicinity of Kepler 1649c which orbits the red dwarf even in a much smaller orbit. The data collected and evaluated by the experts so far also suggests that there might be a third, so far unknown planet in this small system. 
Even if the discovery of Kepler's 1649c was a real sensation among experts, the planet discussed in our article is by no means the first Earth-like planet that researchers in the firmament have been able to identify. Kepler 1649c is therefore sometimes in the company of the planets Proxima Centauri b, the seven planets around Trappist 1, and the celestial bodies that are in the system of the Tiergarten star. In addition, the scientists even succeeded in proving the existence of water on one of these super-Earths. We can therefore be both hopeful and excited about the scientific findings that await us in the future. We hope you enjoyed our trip to the exoplanet Kepler 1649c. Can you imagine that one day mankind will move to a new planet? Please feel free to leave us your thoughts on this topic in the comments. Take care and see you next time.